Hey, what's up Hunter Nation? Hunter Tom here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm at Velocity Outdoors or Crossman and Benjamin, as that's what they're known as. And we're at Chacho 2020 with Philip Guadalupe and he's going to show us the new products that are coming out by Crossman and by Benjamin. So uh, let's see what you got. So full auto has been one of the hottest things that we've been doing the past few years. It came out with the DPMS a couple years ago. Last year was the MPW. This year we have a, a combination of the both uh, underneath the Crossman brand. So you got the Crossman full auto R1. Same, similar butt stock of the B MPW. So it's interchangeable with AR components. We got the longer quad rail with a traditional style muzzle. Everyone loves these guns, but the only complaint they, they will say is that it sucks to reload. Yeah. You have your traditional 25 round magazine. We give you a speed loader uh, with it. Some people have some issues. A quick tip, you put a couple drops of uh, silicone oil and, and it helps with the feeding. And so again, you gotta find your uh, speed reloader, load it up, shoot it a couple times, get it back in the gun, and then you're ready to go. We come up with a solution for that, so you'd be excited to see this one. What I have here is what we're going to be calling the QR mag, a quick reloading mag. It's a traditional style look. You can see it has a wider base. CO2 loads in the back, so you have two CO2s for that. You have a spot for a 300 BB reservoir. And the way it works is you pull this panel back, you shake it four to six times, it loads up the BB track, and then you send it forward and you're ready to go. Yeah. So you think from a practical standpoint, you're sitting there, you're going to shoot, 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 you run out of ammo, it locks back to the rear for the most part, you pull it back, shake it four to six times. Oh, you don't even have to take the magazine out of the gun. And you can go. Wow, that's pretty impressive, I didn't know that. But that's how quick you can reload yeah, right, and sit yeah. there and go into it. Same performance, still 25 rounds per string of fire. Yep. And you got your rate of fire on the gun, and then you just you're getting back into the game and having fun a lot quicker. So pretty much, if you load the like the magazine up and you put fresh CO2 and everything, yeah, you can empty the whole hop like BB hopper, and with then the, you'll be out of CO2 by then, right? Yeah. So it, it like you pretty much just like once you have it all loaded up, you're good for what ten rounds? Uh, well, it's uh on semi-auto you get about uh, two hundred rounds. Oh, yeah. So you, you'll have more, a little bit more BBs in BB's there. Not, but... So if you only put 200, 250 or whatever, you're going to get through most of those before you even have to touch the magazine and take it out the gun. And it's going to be sold separately? Like you could buy this as a, as a separate purchase? or? Yes, initially it's only going to come out separately as a separate item. Okay, And then so. eventually maybe you'll start implement, implementing with some of your guns, right? Correct. Okay. Awesome. So this will work for all AR platforms that we sell. So that's like your PDW hub? Yeah, yeah, yeah the SBR. SBR yeah the MPW, yeah. and then the new full auto R1. Yeah, cool, cool. And I think you guys have a new Benjamin gun you uh, might want to show us, eh? So everyone's excited about this one in particular. To most of the uh, customers out there, it, it looks just like a traditional Marauder. What's unique about it is, is that we've added a semi-auto feature to it. Nice. It's only going to come in 22. It has an ambidextrous charging handle, just like an AR. Yeah. And basically when you cock it back, you put the magazine in. The magazine will be unique to this gun. However, you can still, it's backwards compatible. But what's unique about it, it's gonna have a single hole versus the kidney shaped plot on it. And it's, that's just to prevent from a pellet from flying back into the breech because this uses low back action. Okay. So hammer and the bolt are independent. So that bolt's flying back independent of the hammer and the valve sending the bolt back and the air that comes up shoots the pellet out and also sends the bolt back. So it's not a double action trigger then, it's it's an actual true yep. semi-automatic single shot, yep. single action. Correct. Action, okay. Yeah, so the trigger is different even though it looks similar, it has a disconnect and that's what allows us to get the, the semi-auto out of it. Okay. Cool. As far as velocity, you're getting up to 900 feet per second for 60 shots. Out of the factory, it's probably going to shoot around 880 to 900. That's the sweet spot for it. And I heard you guys had an AK on the way, right? So for the full auto, again, yes, it's been one of the most popular uh, categories for us. And the next iteration in the full auto is going to be that AK rifle yep. that will come out. It's going to be later in the year. It will have a sample to show, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to have a folding stock, a real tactical looking all black AK. Awesome, awesome. 
I'm gonna have a, a great target that will go along oh, with yeah. it. So for uh, we'll have two versions, one for air guns and one for rimfire. It's a dueling tree that the targets flip over. So especially with that marauder, you can sit there and just start pinging them over and go yeah. out. You can compete with your friend or yep. two, yeah. And I see you also have like the new yeah. suppression sort of systems. So for the brake barrels, one of the things that's new, it's mainly for the entry level brake barrels out there. A lot of them have like fluted muzzles or open sights, but they don't have sound suppression. Now we have this new quick fire sleeve sound suppression tech um, technology added to it okay. at the same price. Oh, nice. So they're getting a feature that they didn't have before at the same no, price. Yeah, yeah. It's like an updated version of it, yeah. Yes. Cool. Well, thank you very much, Philip. Really fun, and uh, I look forward to seeing the new Crossman Benjamin products that are coming out. So, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed watching the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>